What's up, Navigating Academia family? I hope you guys are having a great day so far. Uh, just wanted to take a moment here on the channel to pay uh, my and our collective respects uh, to the Beck family. Unfortunately, uh, Professor Aaron Beck uh, died this morning uh, or yesterday. I just got the news this morning at least. Um, for those of you who don't know who Aaron Beck is, uh, Beck was one of uh, really the progenitors of the whole movement of cognitive behavioral therapy. If you want to think of like a single figure, a single father uh, of CBT, which is cognitive behavioral therapy, which has helped I mean, countless millions of people in therapy improve their lives, overcome uh, particularly anxiety and particularly depressive symptomatology, Aaron Beck would be the guy. Um, I remember having the deep, deep pleasure back in 2007 uh, of running across Professor Beck in San Francisco in a bar. And I remember seeing, and I mean, exactly what you would think. Those of you who know Aaron Beck and photos of Beck and all, he had a little, little, you know, blazer on, like hunched over guy. He's got his little bow tie and the whole thing, everything you would expect about Aaron Beck, that he was the Aaron Beckiest guy ever, right? And such a unique guy. And uh, he has little, it was blue, right? He had these little powder blue, different colored uh, blazers. And he was a good man. Uh, and that is the highest compliment that I honestly can pay uh, anyone, right? Is that he was a good man. Uh, and uh, Judith, who's uh, no doubt taken over for him in so many ways here over the past years, Judith Beck, uh, deserves all the respect in the world and is continuing that legacy. And um, my sincere condolences to her as well. Um, I was in this bar and I saw Aaron Beck and uh, and I went up to him because it was like early afternoon. So I think he was just hanging out or whatever, seeing some friends or something. And, you know, the second you see Aaron Beck, you know it's Aaron Beck. And uh, I was there for a conference and uh, and I went up to him and I you know introduced myself and guys, I was so young at that age. I think I was probably like, uh, I'm going to say like 18, 19, maybe something like this, right? Maybe 20, maybe 20, like at best, right? And I remember going up to him and uh, saying, you know, oh, Professor Beck, it's such an honor to meet you. And, you know, I was just get, taking my first clinical classes as an undergraduate. So you still think that these, you know, that these hero professors and these things, you're in that mindset. I know that some people on the channel are in that mindset too. And it's, you know what, it's a beautiful time you look back with and smile. And I remember going up to him and saying, uh, Professor Beck, I need to buy you a beer. Uh, and he's just like, oh, thank you so much. He's like, you know, and not, I don't really drink that much and you know, nah, that's okay, but thank you. You know, I really appreciate the sentiment. And I still remember leaning in and being like, Professor Beck, you don't have to drink the beer, but I'm sure you can understand. I need to be able to tell people that I bought Aaron Beck a beer, right? And there was this beautiful nonverbal moment of him looking at me for comprehension. And then just this little devilish Aaron Beck half smile curling itself up when he looked at me. And then he chuckled or whatever. And he's like, okay, right? And he let me go to the bar and I bought him a beer and I brought it back. He didn't touch it. I put it down on the table and we, we talked for maybe five, six minutes. Very brief. He asked me where I was, you know, at the moment and, you know, what I wanted to do. And, you know, I knew where I want to go to grad school at the time. We talked about my target supervisor and these things. And he was so generous with his time and he was so kind to me as uh, as uh, uh, just such a young man. I mean, he's very, very young at that age. Um, and you always remember people like that. You always remember people whose humility really touches you. And he was one of those types of people. Um, and, uh, you know, there's, uh, what is that? There's a great saying, and my understanding is that it can be attributed to, you know, indigenous persons here in the United States. And the saying is basically that we come into this world crying when everyone else rejoices. So let us exit this world with everyone else crying and us rejoicing. And so God bless you, Professor Beck. Thank you.